When people pull into the parking lot, they see something that's futuristic. They see something that's visionary. They see something that we promised the public about a year ago that we would produce to make a, a fantastic learning environment for students. In our district, we don't get to replace buildings very often, and so we made sure that this space would be very versatile. The vision of the superintendent was to create something that really breathed life and spoke to the future of Sand Springs instead of looking back at the past. She wanted something that was going to um, excite the students and get the whole community excited about what's happening in Sand Springs. Our building that we moved from, of course, had some history in the community. We work really hard in communication, and that really is the key. Making sure that we're clearly articulating what it is we're trying to promote. And it, by evidence of a 93% bond passage rate, it didn't take long for our community to understand what we were trying to accomplish here on the Charles Page High School campus. When you first enter the building, the first thing you see is that grand staircase. And the grand staircase was a very important element for the school. We knew we were going to have to have something because of just egress, and it was an opportunity to create a space that was dynamic and could be filled with students uh, all throughout the day. We went through lots of options during design. We really were constrained by the site because the high school sits on top of a hill. Pretty quickly we realized the amount of earthwork that would be needed was going to be cost prohibitive. So we looked at all different ways to create that wow of an entry but still not break the bank. One of the beauties of this space is that we also combine our Freshman Academy with our STEM Center. So we now offer engineering, computer science, biomedical coursework that our students are able to take in preparation for moving on to that next step after they graduate. Our team at KKT has been really focusing on what's happening in education design across the country and across the world. We've been involved for years in an association that really pushes the boundaries of what schools can be and how education can really form the future. And those spaces that are common spaces, open spaces, really speak to the way that work will be done in the future and really is being done now. We knew we wanted to be dual purpose. In other words, we wanted them to be able to congregate there, of course, and have their lunch and all of that, but it's not really a cafeteria, no. It's really more about diversification of a space that does a lot of things. Focusing on some of those concepts of collaboration and teamwork is so important in today's world. And we have to provide spaces that will allow those students to nurture and grow those skills. Anyone in public school business knows that there's always a budget. We rely on tax dollars, which are limited. Um, and for projects such as this, we rely on bond dollars. And we also know those are very limited. And so what we do is we try to produce the best on a budget that we have to live in. We work with the client from the very beginning, even before the bond was passed. We started having meetings with Sherry about what her vision was. We talked with the school board about what their vision was and how we could maximize their vision and really create something that was going to last for the next 50 years. We need to make sure that we are always ready to help them even if it's just some preliminary discussions and planning, we want to be a partner for them in that journey. In the future, we look very forward to working with KKT. They have been a stellar partner in providing what we need to really complete our mission and to achieve our goals.